Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. My name is Corley. You know, let's just address the elephant in the room. My makeup is visible. That's how we roll on this channel. The only time I can wear this type of makeup look is when I'm stuck home because believe it or not, I'm not going to wear this to work and have all the clients ask me random ass questions like they don't already bother me enough. Okay, today I figured I would do a little bit of a fun concept which is to tier rank makeup brands now I got this idea from oh my god Mike's Mike on YouTube He does a lot of fun videos, but he did a few like tier ranking videos recently and they are so funny that I was like, you know what? Let me translate that to my work to what I do which is makeup and let's make this work So right now I'm sitting on this corner so you guys can have this and see what is going on. So I basically made a tear maker. I don't know if I can link it. I guess we'll see. Um, you can send me your own version of the tear on Twitter or Instagram. I'll react to it, see if you're right or if you're wrong. <laughs> what I have is I have the different tiers that I named. The first tier is Per. If you don't know what per is, it's basically the short version of period. And that means the most exquisite, elite, high profile type of makeup brands that we can find, okay? Then we got the orange one, which is real hot girl shit, which um, in the humble words of Megan Thee Stallion, is basically, it's real hot girl shit. Listen, these brands are doing just fine. They're maybe not like elite enough for the per, you know, tier, but they're definitely doing the damn thing. And a few years maybe, they're just a little bit of extra razzle dazzle will make them attain the purr tier. Then underneath we have the breaking my silence. <laughs> this one has a dumb name. I feel like the name can be a little misleading. Breaking my silence is just like, it's brands I kind of like don't care about, but just don't have anything negative to say about. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I use them, but I'm not, and I don't hate them, but I don't love them. Like they, they haven't done anything special, but they're not problematic. That's the best way to describe it. So I'm breaking my silence on those brands. I'm talking about them, but you know, there's nothing like this distinguishable. <laughs> Next, I have Chow. Let me look away. Those are the brands. They're still not problematic. They're just disappointing as a whole. Like you just see those brands and you're like. Now what the hell are you thinking? I'd like to know, ma'am. And then the fourth tier is I hate it here. That tier is, it's just, like it's it's problematic. The I hate it here tier is, it's just for problematic brands. So shall we get started? Let me present this to you. The first brand I have is Alme. Alme, she's gonna go in shall. Let me look away because there ain't no way they thought they was gonna make it higher than that. Like, Almay, I don't own anything from Almay. Like, I don't even think about Almay. That is crazy. Artist Couture, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna give. Um... No, okay, Artist Couture deserves her. If you guys saw my 2019, like, favorites of the year video, or my, no, was it my Sephora recommendation? Artist Couture products are top tier excellent. Artist Couture goes in a purr. We have Beauty Bay. Actually, the look I did today, I used the Beauty Bay Pastels Pressed Pigment Palette. It's kind of cool. It's really pretty. And I also bought their big, like, bright matte palette. Um, I like their brand. Uh, because I'm trying those products and I actually think they're really good, but they're definitely not like they're not they're not purr You know what I mean? They're in between real hot girl shit and breaking my silence. I think I'm gonna go with real hot girl shit Or do I go breaking my silence? Dang You know what? I'm gonna go real hot girl shit on Beauty Bay for now. We might switch it up. Then we have Benefit Cosmetics Benefit Cosmetic is gonna go in Breaking My Silence. The reason being, I don't hate Benefit Cosmetics. I just, they're just a brand that right now, except from some products like the brow products or blush, you know, I'm just not really looking for. And I'm not like, oh my God, Benefit released this new thing. Like I'm not that excited right now. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna just put it at Breaking My Silence. Benefit is okay. I just don't use them that much. 
that's all. BH Cosmetics is on some real hot girl shit. I love BH Cosmetics. I think they're really, 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 really good. I think they're good with the eyeshadows. The collabs that they do are immaculate. Their blushes are great. They've made collaborations with women of color before. I only think they did one with It's My Ray Ray though, so. Catrice Cosmetics. Ciao. Let me look away. Or is it breaking my silence? Okay, it's gonna go and break in my silence. Catrice is okay. Like they have some products that do um, really well and then they have some products I'm just like what the hell were you thinking of like I don't see something Catrice and I'm like whoa what is this fun like I'm just like okay it's Catrice <laughs> okay Colourpop ooh Colourpop I'm gonna go real hot girl shit because y'all purposefully ignored Neon MUA and was it Jared I think oh, I know I followed them both on Twitter but basically two like influencers of color that were encouraging you to post more black creators because you haven't been doing that especially dark skinned black creators recently you've been making an effort we'll see if that's performative or not but overall your products are great you've definitely made collaborations with, with black women before and i've you know taking into consideration that black people do consume a lot in the beauty market and that you can capitalize off of that with collaborating with black influencers as well as reposting black influencers on your Instagram page. So, now, CoverGirl. Ciao, let me look away. Um, CoverGirl hasn't done anything problematic like all the Ciao, let me look away brands. It's just, it's not giving me anything. Like when I walk in the drugstore and I stay in front of CoverGirl, I'm just like, damn, that's tough. Like, I'm not interested by anything i'm so underwhelmed by cover girl that I just kind of chill let me look away next is elf Ooh, wait a minute wait a minute you know what i'm gonna put elf in purr let me tell you why elf goes in purr elf has legitimately been like one of the brands that was consistently affordable with some good products more and more everything they release is actually great and I absolutely adore everything that I have from them. My favorite, one of my favorite eye brushes is from e.l.f. is this detail crease brush. I have their concealers. I love the camo concealers. Um, I love so many of their products, their blushes. I basically love, love, love e.l.f. cosmetics and they have stayed like consistently affordable which is so hard to find nowadays because you go to the drugstore and a foundation is $22. Like what for? But e.l.f. is that girl. Essence for me is in the same category as Catrice. I'm pretty sure they're actually owned by the same like mother brand or something. They're okay, not problematic. Some products are good, some products are just disappointing. Their shade range is trash. Um, I'm just not impressed overall. Fenty Beauty goes in per per. There's nothing I have to say. Shade ranges are immaculate. Representation across the brand is immaculate. The products are amazing. Well, the ones I've tried because I haven't tried everything. I'm not risking like it. Fenty is just kind of iconic. It ch Fenty Beauty changed the game for every brand. For every, for the whole makeup industry, Fenty Beauty changed it. And for that, we can thank who? Miss Riri. Huda Beauty is on some real hot girl shit. I love Huda Beauty, okay? Her products are really, really pricey. I'm gonna be the first person to tell you that I'm broke. Her makeup is very Instagram, if I can call it that. But that's how she built her brand. So, I mean, we're not confused. I do makeup mainly on Instagram, let's be real. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited to try some new things from Miss Huda because I know she has a lot of a lot of fun things. And I'm excited! Is Jouer real hot girl shit? Jouer is, ooh, Jouer is real hot girl shit, okay? Jouer is real hot girl shit, why you ask? Because... Um, I love Jouer. I really do like Jouer Cosmetics. I've liked them for a long time. I just didn't have the money to buy them. And this, this goes in real hot girl shit. She's good. But at the same time, you know, Jouer isn't a brand to me that distinguishes itself from all brands, like, significantly. Like, they have really good products that I love to use and admire. But they're not the most unique. You know, like, they'll create products better than products have already been created, but it's like a highlighter or a lip gloss, you know? It's not like an innovation. Next, we have KVD Vegan Beauty, which KVD Vegan Beauty, honey baby, breaking my silence. 
I very, very much appreciate that Kat Von D is no longer head of like KVD, Vegan Beauty, because um, nobody wants to support a toxic anti-vaccine person. We don't, we don't, we don't like that. I do support them, but I'm still discovering the brand right now, so it's breaking my silence. Laura Mercier is kind of child, let me look away, except from a few like iconic products she has or setting powders, highlighters, um, primers. I'm just not impressed overall. Like I don't see Laura Mercier and I'm like, oh my god, wow. Oh my god, wow. Like she just has a few key products. Maybe it's breaking my silence actually. Let me put breaking my silence because I do care for some of her products. I just don't care in general. That's it, period. L'Oreal. I don't love L'Oreal, but I don't hate them. I have their mascaras, their concealers. But again, like there's a lot of releases that I just don't find exciting. L'Oreal doesn't, they don't, they don't blow my mind. Like I'm not amazed by anything they do. So it's kind of like breaking my silence. Lunar Beauty. Am I giving Lunar Beauty purr or Real Hot Girl Shade? Oh, that's hard. <sighs> Lunar Beauty is purr, period. I love Lunar Beauty. Like Lunar Beauty is undeniably a really good brand. If you don't know, Lunar Beauty is owned by many MUA and it's just, it's actually, it's so good. Like Lunar Beauty is undeniably an amazing brand. Their products are really good and I feel like many doesn't ever release anything in vain. Like everything they've released is like, Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution is on some hot girl shit. I don't know if you saw the new bronzers they released. They have a lot of shades and it's just, it's great. So we stand Makeup Revolution. She's doing the damn thing. Maybelline? Maybelline is purr. Maybelline is purr. I've always loved Maybelline. Like if you'll ask me what are some of my favorite drugstore brands, Maybelline, 100%. I really like Maybelline because I feel like they've always been into inclusion. They've always released fun products. Like when I see new products from Maybelline, I'm here, I'm like, whoa! Like I feel like they know the trends and they basically adjust to it very well. They're able to make makeup that is attractive to young Instagram, you know, people, as well as some people that are older. Like I've sold a lot of Maybelline foundations, blushes, highlighters. Like I've sold a lot of Maybelline products to people that were way older than me, probably in their 50s. And everyone likes Maybelline, everybody. And so they're honestly that brand that just keeps on giving. And they have new lip glosses, I believe they're releasing soon which I'm very excited to try because I heard there was a Fenty Beauty dupe in there. Milani is a real hot girl shit brand for me. It's good. One of my favorite setting sprays, this one from Milani, is actually amazing. I don't own much from Milani. I do think that's the only thing I own from them. Wait, let me think. Milk makeup? Is it a real hot girl shit or purr? Okay, milk makeup, because I haven't tried a lot of milk makeup, I'm going to say real hot girl shit. I only started getting really into them like this year. But what my favorite primer ever is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So, that says something. I actually really like their cream blushes that are in the sticks. Love those, I like cream blush. So, you know, milk is also real hot girl shit. You can blame her, you cannot blame her. Morphe? until they get their shit together and take Janice Starfish out of their stores. They're, they will remain here. Morphe would have been a real hot girl shit brand for me. I own a bunch of things from Morphe, but I do have morals and I have rules. Until they remove the Voldemort lookalike from their website, I'm not, honey, I hate it here. Hate. So then we have Miss Nars. Nars is purr. Like when I think of Nars, I think of peak, expensive, rich, opulent, inclusive, fun, elegant makeup brand. Like Nars to me is everything. I love Nars. Natasha, De well, let me break my silence on Natasha Denona real quick. Natasha Denona is real cute like their products real cute every time i see a palette i'm like wow every time I, even if it's a neutral palette i just love their products in theory so much but why you gotta be this expensive like when i buy the palette does it come with someone that's gonna do my makeup for me you know what let's just ask the real questions natasha 
What kind of gold fairy dust did you put in your palettes that makes them so expensive? NYX is per. NYX has always been that bitch. Been that bitch will forever be that bitch. She's excellent. She's perfect. She's everything we ever wanted in a drugstore makeup brand. Like, she got shades, variety. NYX even has products for creatives. Like, they don't, you know, a lot of drugstore brands just focus on like the natural face with, even if it's like full, you know, full coverage products. They don't really dabble into color a lot. NYX has colored liners, colorful eyeshadows, pigments, glitters. You know, they have those like gel liners slash paints, face paints. They just offer a lot of variety when it comes to shade selection, whether it be in skin tones or just colors for eyeshadow. And I think that's really, really good, especially for blush and bronzer. Like they're killing it. NYX is one of my favorite drugstore brands as well. I like Ofra. I like Ofra. It's nothing magical. I do have some of their highlighters. The reason is because I was, I had an Ipsy subscription and they actually send a lot of Ofra products in there. So I have like, I have three Ofra highlighters. I have one Ofra blush and I really like them. Okay, don't get me, don't get it wrong. I really like them. It's just like, Ofra is not a brand that captures my interest unless it's for their collabs, usually and their highlighters but i already own these you know what i mean like pat mcgrath is definitely on some hot girl shit the only reason why i'm not giving her purr even though she's literally one of the best if not the best makeup artist in the whole entire world and she's a black woman so you know it means with support um 90 dollars for a foundation i can't even afford her products i do own like three lip glosses from pat mcgrath which i cherish with every single ounce of gratitude in my body i love those lip glosses that i have but man patrick ta breaking my silence because patrick ta is a brand i haven't tried yet but i'm very intrigued and i think that patrick ta actually from the first time he released this brand really worked on representation across like the models he used and i just i love i love the like the appearance of his products his products look very elevated and they really do look like a makeup artist's collection like it's very refined and i like that but again some of these brands the reason why i haven't tried them is just because it's not the type of makeup i do all the time like i'm a big eyeshadow palette investor i like to invest in eyeshadow palettes a lot as you can clearly see um <laughs> i love i love eyeshadow palettes but the thing is you know he's just He's like a makeup artist doing makeup artist thing. This is just formula. Child, let me look away. It's cute. It's cute in concept. It's just disappointing. Like, Physician Formula, I own a bronzer from them, and I'm like, it's a really good bronzer that I really like. But the rest, I could care very much less about. Like, I don't care about Physician's Formula, and they're not particularly inexpensive as well. P. Louise, girl, I hate it here. How you won't say the N word? while you're white girl revlon child let me look away revlon is so disappointing to me like there's nothing they release i'm like wow this is great like i'm just always disappointed ah rimmel breaking my silence let me do that because no child let me look away actually rimmel, rimmel is just kind of like what the hell is going on like what's going on the balm breaking my silence i like the balm i just feel like they're not marketing themselves enough to people but i really do like the balm and um i like their blushes their bronzers i do like some of their lip products like lip glosses lip, um matte liquid lipsticks i like the balm and i think it's a little unfortunate that they're not talked about enough they're they're not real high girl shit you know type for me i like them but they're not that high on the so I'm gonna keep them at breaking my silence. <laughs> then we have Miss Too Faced. Breaking my silence. I like some products from Too Faced. Their um, foundation, concealers. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. It's cute, but everything looks kind of ashy. <laughs> Urban Decay. Oh. Urban Decay. Urban Decay used to be that brand like people loved urban decay what happened to her i'm gonna break my side no child no no let me break my silence they have a lot of really good cute products i'm just 
Nothing they've released recently has excited me, so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna just keep it cute. Urban Decay to me is not problematic at all. They're actually really like, they're just doing their damn thing. And I'm just here, you know, doing my own damn thing. But the truth is, Miss Urban Decay right here, she just don't hit the same. She used to hit different, like five, oh my god, I'm so old. Five years ago? Five years ago, you know, Urban Decay hit different like the only thing from urban decay i own is the naked three palette because that was the shit back in the day but now you know except for their like glitter liners i'm just not i like i'm not that intrigued i'm like it's cute so this is it i have all my tears the tears are made tell me how you feel about my tears because i'd like to know i'm very confident about them i'm very um i think i make good choices uh, I could have added way more brands on I Hate It Here. Unfortunately, I just don't want to bring attention to some questionable people. Okay guys, so this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit all over the place because actually, you know, ranking things is harder than it looks. If I can, I'm going to leave the link for the tier um, ranking in the description box down below so you guys can give me your version of this. Now, I only did 36 brands because I did not want to be here for tomorrow. I have things to do, money to make. But um, this is it, so I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like me, my personality, or the content I put right up on YouTube. Then guess what, honey? Feel free to subscribe to this channel. We'd love to have you here. We love newcomers. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, such as Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll have all the links in the description box down below. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Damn, these lights are bright. Let's take off these lashes. Woo!